Yo team, my name's Ben and this is... Who am I? Waikou Hika! <laughs> Woo! Such passion! Okay, and Waikou Hika's excited because we're going to talk about the energy production for high intensity exercise. So when we're doing high intensity exercise, our force, first source of energy is... ATP. Good. Which is stored in... The muscle. And to break our ATP down, we use... ATPase. Good. ATPase comes in, rips off the last phosphate from my denison triphosphate, and we're left with ADP and free phosphate. Good. And where that phosphate was joined on, energy gets released so we can have muscle contraction. That lasts about three seconds. Three seconds. Then we need to rebuild or re synthesize. Resynthesize our ATP. So creatine phosphate comes in and it gives its phosphate to adenosine diphosphate so it becomes adenosine triphosphate good then we can break it down to release more energy so our creatine phosphate stores last about 10 seconds 10 seconds then to make more ATP we have to break down our lollies so that's called glycolysis good gly for glucose lysis for to kill so glycolysis gives us two ATP and two pyruvic acid. And then if we're doing high intensity exercise, we can't get enough oxygen to match the amount of pyruvic acid we create. So therefore, without oxygen, pyruvic acid turns into lactic acid, which then turns into lactate and hydrogen. Good. Our hydrogen, the more hydrogen we have, the lower our pH. And that means our body starts feeling Acidic. So, when our acidity in our body gets too high, all the ways we create ATP start to fail and we fatigue. But luckily we've got a buffering system, which is... Bicarbonate. And we have our bicarbonate, which is a base, and it mixes and binds with our hydrogen to form... Carbonic acid. Good. And carbonic acid is a weak acid. And it can break apart and turn into carbon dioxide and water. Good. And our water, we can just store back in the cell. <laughs> die quietly! <laughs> and <laughs> die quietly! <laughs> and our carbon dioxide, we can breathe out. So while we've got enough bicarbonate, we can tolerate our hydrogen because we can buffer them off and then get rid of them via the system. Okay, boom.